baseline has been introduced. And what is baseline? Baseline is a super cool feature that allows you to um, determine the signal of a biofeedback when there's nothing connected. Now you may be wondering why would you want to do that? Well, this is why. The idea is you do a biofeedback with your TENS pad stuck together or um, your sample digitizer with no, no sample inside between the slides. And you do a scan. Now I'll do a scan to show you. The baseline facility is down here. But once I click it, Spooky 2 will perform a baseline biofeedback scan. I've set the step size for the biofeedback scan to be 5%. So it's a crazy high percentage. Don't worry about that. This is just for demonstration purposes only. Don't try this at home. <laughs> Normally that's 0.125%. I just wanted to have a fast scan that I could show you. And the scan will last something like a minute. Okay, now you'll see that there was a definite curve in the biofeedback response. You'll see that this light has gone green. That means a baseline has been created. Now I'll do another biofeedback scan with the baseline now loaded. Now before the value was 574 to 450 range. Let's see what happens now. Look, 0.12 to 0.19. And the value itself is very, very low. Look at that. 0 0.03 is the running average. And so what you now have now is a highly sensitive biofeedback that can measure change. And that's what biofeedback is all about, measuring change. And the change is whatever you've introduced into the circuit. And so if you have run your, if you've loaded into the baseline, your sample digitizer biofeedback scan, which is using no sample, and then you do a, a proper biofeedback scan with a sample, the only difference is the sample. And so it's disregarding any electrical noise, any Wi-Fi signals, any electrical noise that's, or errors that are inside the Generator X electronics, anything. All of that is now taken into account because the baseline is subtracted from the biofeedback scan data. So isn't that amazing? And so we can get extremely accurate biofeedback scans now.